Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the name of my channel is called the Crap Buy. I either buy good crap or bad crap. It's you to decide. But I talk about other topics, you know. Uh, there's a, a girl in uh, New Brunswick told my mom I should be more prepared and I took her advice. Thank you so much, Anik. I actually uh, prepare myself a little bit further. Like, you know, I thought about my ideas a little bit more because sometimes I'm just on the spot and the ideas comes and sometimes they're really good ideas, but I miss details. So I just want to shout you out. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. So today we're going to talk about a different product, like not a product, but a different topic. Like, you know, I usually talk about crap I buy, but also crappy situation, crappy people, you know, uh, crap experience. But I talk about crap. It could be good crap or bad crap. So today we're going to talk about how to end all rejection. And it's a very important topic because I'm sure that people watching got rejected and there's a way to end all rejection that's going to make you better and actually people will want to be with you eventually. So let's get started. That's my intro. <laughs> uh, so when I was younger, I was a tomboy. And then like all the guys that I was hanging out with one day stopped hanging out with me because I understood now, like, you know, retrospective. Um, they were going to puberty and hanging out with a girl was like kind of awkward for them because they probably had like 24 hour boner. So I understood, but me, I was stuck alone and it was my first rejection in a way that I had to start hanging out with girls. I had some girlfriends and we drift apart and I was just stuck alone and I tried to make friends with, with one girl and I was following her around, tried to talk to her. I remember we playing like the cats. I was a cat and was like meow, meow, meow. And she was just running away from me like I'm a some kind of psychotic freak. Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna like hang out with this group of people. So I went there and I tried to sit with them and they were all my childhood friend. Like, you know, I hang out with them all the time. I used to go to their house and I don't know, we drift apart and then I tried to come back and there was a big group, guys and girls. And I didn't know this, I didn't like it. So basically they told me one day like, oh, we're gonna do like uh, some tests for you. You know, we're gonna do an initiation for you. So the initiation was to beat up a guy and race against a guy. So we started with a race. I won. I was so happy, you know, oh, yay. And then like when it comes to beat up a guy, they wanted me to fight against a guy. The guy was shitting his pants. I was all ready. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna fight. Come on, man. I'm ready. And then the guy was just like shitting his pants and like they saw it and it was like, okay, stop, stop. One of the girls came to me and told me like, you know what? The truth is that we didn't want you around and we just wanted to lose and then you would not win the initiation and you would just like go away. I'm sorry. So I remember I'm, oh, I said, okay, you know, and then I just went away and then I went to the washroom. I cried, I came back. I went to the swings with people were sw like on the swing and I was just pretending I have friends. Very difficult. But you know what? You know what I did? I didn't give a fuck the next day. Next day, I was just doing my thing again and be positive and be all good energy. What happened to this group? The girl who told me that actually I was rejected got rejected the next day. She was all alone too. Because when rejection happens, it's not only you. It's like a, a momentum that people are going to stop cutting other people. Like, you know this in, in work? You get fired, it's like three other people get fired as well, you know? Next day, next month, they get, like, it's just that they're like on the firing streak. Oh yeah, if you can fire this person, we're gonna fire a bunch of crap. You know, don't take it personal. So basically, uh, for me, in the next day or the next week, that girl got rejected, gravitated towards me, and then the girl that I was playing with the cats gravitated towards me because I, I start giving a fuck. Like, I start giving a fuck. I was, you know what, I'm just gonna be on my own. Fuck you, everybody. I'm just going to be my own. And it gave you confidence. That's why, like, they start gravitating towards me because I didn't care. I was positive, happy, and doing my own thing. And they all wanted to be with me. I remember they all surrounded me. And you know what? It was very fun because I was like, okay, well, I understood very clearly what to do when you get rejected. You just walk away and you just stay happy because people, when you get rejected, they think that you're going to be crying, miserable and a little old and you know, but no, I was shining. I remember I was hanging out with this girl before this happened. 
oh yeah, she came in the group as well. She was hanging out with me. She's my friend, my girlfriend. And then I had like this guy friend that I knew since I was born almost, and she started having a crush on him. So basically, she told me, you cannot hang out with us anymore because now he's my boyfriend. And basically, uh, I don't want you to be around him because I'm jealous. What a fucking bitch move. I remember I tried to call her and said, like, are you sure I cannot hang out with you guys anymore? No, I don't want to. I'm too jealous. Like, and then you know what? I took it and I didn't say nothing. Another rule to get rejected, ask questions. You know, why you feel jealous? Why you feel threat? Why are you doing this? You know? And then eventually she accepted me again when like all this story happened that I got rejected and I didn't give a fuck. She came, gravitated, the cat girl gravitated, the girl who rejected me, they all gravitated towards me. So I was surrounded again. But I did, at the end of the day, my mistake is that I used to take it. I used to say, okay, and just walk away, you know? But sometimes you need to step up and show who you are, show your dominance and say, you know, you piece of shit. You take that care about you, I tolerate you. You're just a tolerance because I have nobody else. But once I find somebody else, I'll reject you. You know, say something, you know. I remember I went to an art camp with one of the girl. And basically, uh, she told me, like, it was a half an hour away to go there. My parents were driving, so she needed to drive. And she told me in the middle of the week, it was a week long, she said, well, I don't want to hang out with you anymore because I want to make more friends. I was stuck alone, and I didn't say nothing again. I should have told her, okay. Well, I'm not going to go to your stupid camp then because I came for you. Fuck you. Like, you know, just like stand up for yourself. Like, don't say, okay. Like, I used to say nothing. And you build up frustration and you feel bad about yourself. You need basically to speak up and say your truth and walk away and don't give a fuck. That's the best method. I remember in gym class, I was trying to make friends with the girls at the gym class and I always been nice, I always say hi, like, you know, like be a normal human being and they wouldn't want me around and they keep looking at me weird. So I showed them my dominance. I start running faster than them. I start playing sport better than them. I was the best in this, the actually class, best, better than the guys and better than the girls. I was the best. And then one day they were all sitting all on the bench and I so, so, sat the exact opposite way. And I didn't look at them. They tried to say hi. I was like, <laughs> okay, like you cannot sit with me. Like, you know, you cannot sit with me. So important. And then what they did, they all came to me and be like, Francoise, 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 you were so good at the sport. Show your dominance. Like, you know, because when you get rejected, you get pain and grow from this pain. You know, I talk about the club guy. He rejected me for 10 years. Well, you know, I grew up. I became sharper, I became better, I became prettier, I became faster, stronger, better. Like I became so much better because I thought there was something wrong with me. So I keep like, you know, growing and growing and growing. And you know, I, I end up being satisfied with myself. And now I look at him and it's like, he's the problem, not me. He's the problem. Like, you know, it's not at my standards anymore because I grew so high that I want somebody better grew from this pain, become better, apply yourself, be independent as well. When you don't need anybody, you're not going to get rejected because they reject you, give a fuck. Like, you, I can survive without you. Don't ever be dependent on people. And that's a problem sometimes. People are so dependent on others that they will do anything to not get rejected. But rejection, once you get one time and two times and three times, you don't care. I got a girl one time told me like, Oh, I cannot be friends with you anymore because I spoke about like tarot reading. That's like another portal and you can attract demons and all this stuff. And she didn't want to be my friend. I said, you know what I said? It's like, okay, bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. And then she came back and messaged me on Instagram and like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't have the time for you. You know, if you don't want to be my friend, okay, bye-bye. I have plenty of other people that want to be my friend. You open the space. You make space for better people that comes in your life. If you hang on a pile of shit, you will become a pile of shit. If they reject you, it's a good thing. It's never on you. I would never reject anybody, ever. I will accept people the way they are. I'm very open to people. But at the end of the day, like, if they reject you, there's a problem with them. Don't it take it personal. It's them. Like, why do you have to put the energy of rejecting you openly? rejecting you, you know, like you try to pick up this girl constantly and she reject you, reject you, reject you. You know what? One day tell her, you know what? I'm done. I don't give a fuck. Bye. She's probably going to think, oh shit, I don't have this attention. Like, you know, some people love attention. You love 
They love that people chase them and give them attention and they love to say no. And when you stop and you move on, they're gonna freaking realize, okay, I lost somebody important. I lost somebody like they actually give a fuck about me. So that's, um, that's about rejection. Like, you know, you need to understand that your own person and you're worth it. You're worth it. You're worth all the beautiful things in the world. Like, you know, if people bring toxicity, just walk away yourself, reject them. If they bring shit to you, reject them, walk away yourself. And it follows you like a little minions, make them your minions. You know what I'm saying? Okay, get me the coffee every morning. Do this every morning. Like, you know, if they reject you, not, not if you're a good friend, like my friend next to me, like bring me coffee, like it's, not, it's different. But I'm just saying, like at the end of the day, uh, you can reject people as well if they're toxic in your life. And if they really were dead, they will prove you wrong. So that's all I have to say. So that was my uh, video on rejection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Put a thumb up, put a positive comment. If you put in a negative comment, I'm gonna reject you and make you feel like crap. But maybe you're gonna grow from this, become better than me. We never know, but <laughs> don't put anything negative. That was my channel, The Crap I Buy, and I hope to see you guys next time.